Pulling back from her vacation, oh, yes. and she to came back. Yeah, <laughs> look how tan and you are. Exactly. Did, really? But you know what you did? You <laughs> turned up the heat. And you brought it with yeah, you on your okay. return. Let me tell yeah. you guys. Yeah. It is hotter in Southern California today, tomorrow, and Saturday than it was my entire trip to Hawaii. Wow. Welcome home. <laughs> I know. Seriously, it's like there's nowhere else in the world that you could live where you would be okay with coming home after that's Hawaii. True. Right? That's well, true. I mean, that's true. seriously, like yeah. nowhere. Yeah. We we're, set the bar pretty high. Yeah. 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 So it was in the high 70s when I left, yeah. uh, low 80s. Yeah. And then I'm here, it's 85, 86. Well, you don't need 92. to go to Hawaii, just go to the beach. You really Santa don't. Monica. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. I mean, it was wonderful yeah. and it was <laughs> fabulous, but seriously, we're so lucky here yeah, in Southern really California. Are. Are. Yeah, when I woke up to that sunshine today, I was like, oh, Ooh. I am totally okay yeah. with mm -hmm. being back, back home. <laughs> <laughs> and you walk outside and there's a breeze in the air and it's a little warm out there. Mm. It's pretty nice. 71, in fact, right here at the Broadcast Center in Studio City. Yeah, not too shabby. And as we get a look at Long Beach, you're going to see mostly clear conditions all across the Southland Forest this evening. And you will see right here. Again, numbers in the 70s for the valley and the coast in the upper 60s for us. So I want to start off. We've got wind advisories currently in store through 9 o'clock, and that's 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. You'll see that right there for the L.A. County Mountains, also the Ventura County Mountains to the north and the Tehachapis and over the Santa Barbara coastline. I was going to say the central coast, and yes, pretty much the entire central coast. We are looking at wind advisories. As we get a look at wind speeds right now, single digits, double digit wind speeds for Lancaster, for Santa Clarita. A little calmer right now, but things are expected to pick up a little later tonight. You'll see that right here 19 mile per hour winds for Santa Clarita, 23 as we head to Santa Monica. Take a look, it's a northerly wind coming in, and it's those northerly winds that keep us warm, dry, and clear. Your future cast continuing to show you windy conditions through early tomorrow, and then things starting to calm down a little bit for us by late afternoon tomorrow. Advisories expiring by the morning. 60s and 70s currently outside, as we mentioned, very warm, a lot. Of yellow and green, so meaning mild to warm. 79 earlier today in downtown, average being 73. So we were above average for this time of year with record numbers hard to beat at the century mark. Temperatures tonight falling down to the 50s. A few more numbers for you. Lows tonight looking like this 58 Riverside, 51 Temecula. As we head to Orange County, you'll see 50s, 57. As we head to Hacienda Heights and as we head to Canoga Park, 55 later tonight. Palmdale a little cooler in the 40s. By tomorrow, Lancaster getting up to the 80s. San Fernando getting up to 91. South Pasadena, 93. Heading to Orange County, 70s and 80s. As we head to the Inland Empire right here, you'll see numbers in the 90s. 90 in Riverside, Lake Elsinore, and 90 as we head to Paris. So your forecast right here calling for high pressure, nothing but warm conditions today, tomorrow, and Saturday being one of the warmest days of the week. By Sunday, temperatures are slated to get a little cooler, about 8 to 10 degrees to be exact. But even then, we're still expecting numbers in the 70s and 80s. Take a look right here, keeping things very warm through Saturday and cooler Sunday, but even then, 70s and 80s expected through the first part of next week. And as we get a look at one more seven day microclimate forecast, my forecast for the Inland Empire, the high desert, and the mountains, breezy tomorrow and very warm as we head into Saturday and still quite warm. By next week. Now it's time for our shameless weekend weather plug. Hi, Evelyn. I'm Enrique Zaldivar, Director and General Manager of LA Sanitation. I want to invite you, your viewers, and all Angelinos to our second annual celebration of Earth Day this Saturday, April 22nd, at Expo Park by USC and the Coliseum. And in celebration of Earth Day, Evelyn, tell us what kind of weather we can expect for Saturday. Honestly, I couldn't think of a better forecast for Earth Day on Saturday. A great, great day to be outside. Again, from 10 to 2 in Exposition Park, expecting a high of 88 degrees in downtown in Exposition Park on Saturday. So nothing but sunshine. And again, the festivities kick off at 10 a.m. They last through 2 p.m. Again, this is Earth Day LA taking place this Saturday. Absolutely no excuse. It's going to be gorgeous. Get outside and a great activity for your Saturday. Back to you guys.